swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Javante Tank Davis stops Ryan Garcia in round number seven with a body shot. Mm -hmm. And so I'm turning it over to Kaspera G, the man who is G23 mm -hmm. and predicted this fight and predicted Tank would stop Ryan Garcia. G, what was your reaction to the fight? Well, to be fair, this wasn't one of my official G23 picks, but it was easy. It was an obvious pick, you know, for obvious reasons. But I thought the, the, the fight was pretty entertaining, man. Like, this is exactly how I expected it to be. Like, I forgot. I predicted, like, I think round seven or eight or something. I can't remember. But it ended in seven, you know. Um, I did give Ryan the first round. That's only because Tank really didn't do much but process Ryan that fight, that round. And then I gave Ryan actually the sixth round. It wasn't like he was like spectacular in the sixth. He just did more work than Tank. But like, I'm gonna say this. I know some people kind of like uh didn't necessarily agree with Ryan's strategy in the second round when Ryan like switched it up and just went like I was gonna say something, but it sounded like a path worthy comment, but you know. <laughs> Uh, thing to the wall, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> he he put on he put the 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 pedal to the metal, and you know he he went for it, right? Some people was just like, "Yo, that was reckless." Maybe, but how I looked at it was we're talking about a guy who was like, you know, for the, essentially weight drained, right? As the fight pursues, like I'm telling you, he's not going to have the same strength like he would in the beginning rounds. So he had to do what he had to do. And when you think about it, like the only issue with Ryan is, yeah, he's when it comes to offense, the dude's fast. He has power. However, when it comes to his defense, he's not really defensively sound. So when he's throwing his attacks, he doesn't protect himself. He leaves himself open. And Tank was just patient, you know? And so, like, on round two, when I think, what was it? Was it a left? Was it a left hook or a, left, a straight left? No, it, it was like, almost like a hybrid between a hook and an uppercut. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it was like, it was it was, it was was a weird left that landed. And it was kind of like a wake-up call for Ryan. Like, man, this dude really is that good, you know? And so, but I, I respect Ryan for making that attempt because I was, in my mind, I was like, what other options does Ryan have right now? You know, and as the fight goes on, he's going to lose a lot of energy. So he has to go for it early. Then um, later on, you know, like in the seventh round, again, that, that body shot, man, was amazing. Like, because when you think about it, and I was debating too, like, yo, did, did Ryan really just quit? You know what I mean? And I was like, nah, I don't think Ryan quit. Because I'm like, I've never seen him that chiseled. Pause. I'm just being real. Like when you look at him, yo, he looked he like he had now G. <laughs> I'm just saying, listen, he had like it looked like he had zero percent body fat, bro. So when he got touched to the ribs, there was nothing, there was nothing to to absorb. So he, he probably his internal organs were shutting down or something. And when he registered, he's just like, Oh man, I can't do this no more. Hey, yo, his nose just said bloop. You know what I'm saying? He he pulled the a he had the AJ nose. <laughs> <laughs> nose just started bleeding out of nowhere. My man just he just said, Yeah, I gotta well, go. I gotta go. Time, G yeah. references AJ, right? Uh, on <laughs> observation. It's just a comparison. But he, you he know, had the, he had the wilder nose in, in the in the rematch with Fury. I don't remember you know that. But anyway, yeah. back to my story. So my man, he just kind of get up, and I was just like. Yo, then I was thinking, like, yo, man, if I was him, would I get up? And then he's probably thinking, yo, if I get up, I might become the next Roly Romero. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
So I mm-hmm. think he did the right thing, you know, like he's still young, you know, like he did his thing. And, and it, just shout out to Ryan, man, for making that attempt. You know, it just shows that Tank is a veteran, you know, and he understands timing, you know. So, you know, definitely, man, Tank is like, I, I'm not going to say he's the new Floyd Mayweather. But you could you could definitely see that he's from the house of Mayweather, you know, because like it was just amazing to see like how patient Tank was, even though the dude was throwing barrages of punches, it didn't phase him. He understood, like, like I'm telling you, this dude Ryan was throwing hooks, like Tank was like, it's nothing, just bro, it was blocking it, weaving them perfectly, it's bro. Nothing, like, like oh, he was weaving them like on the mint work, like, 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 like yeah, that's what I'm saying, like it was like. <laughs> Bro, like, like Lily Pad work. It looked like he was <laughs> for Ryan, you know. So I was just like, man, yo, and it's, it just shows this clear levels to this. So, man, but a salute to both gentlemen, you know. And I'm being honest, that's what saved my night because if this fight either ended <laughs> in Tank losing or by decision, bro, I would have went super sane in our first segment, disrespecting the zone, you know. But the victory kind of calm me down a little bit, but I'm still not a supporter. T B E, I seen you shaking your head, man. What you got? Yeah, I don't agree with anything. G G was giving Ryan excuses. And I'm not I'm not giving Ryan none of that. You stepped in the ring with the man, you signed the contracts, you agreed to everything. So you should be held accountable for what you agreed to. And what are you talking about? What 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 excuses I give him? You say he was weight drained. He was don't matter. He he agreed to it. I know that. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's. Yo, I'm just saying that's the. Right. Yo, explain, explain to it's me, like, like realistically. Me. Hold on. I just want. I just want to know. I, we are. We, we actually have a segment about it, so we we, we can get into it. Yeah. In, 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 in that segment, but I just don't agree with that. That I'm not giving them no cop outs. You agreed to everything in this fight. You stepped in the ring. You didn't come prepared, and when. When you got knocked down the first time, that was the wake up call. Like, ooh, I gotta be careful because you want to come in there all aggressive and stuff. And that's why I be telling people when it comes to Tank, you don't want to exchange with that boy. If he can catch you, he's gonna catch you. And Ryan, we already know what Ryan ain't, and he ain't got the he ain't got the he ain't got the uh, he ain't got the six pack for the um, impact. So. <laughs> He ain't got the six pack. But when Luke Campbell dropped him, I was like, "That's his weakness right there." When, when Tank hit him, I was like, "I was just I had to rewatch that and drop down like five times to see like, yeah, when did what, what was the what caused the drop?" And it was just like, "Quick blow," and then settled in after like, "Oh my, I gotta go." Do, you know, Ryan had to go do the number two. It's like, yo, he he Tank moved that boy. <laughs> I'm just you know, saying. That's what I'm saying. It was it was crazy. Like <laughs> it was a good fight. It was a good fight. I I was it was enjoying. I enjoyed it. Like a lot of people enjoyed this fight, and it was amazing. It was a spe- it was a spectacle. I like it. I like fights like this where you see the best fight the best and somebody come out on top. If they run it back, which I doubt it happened because Tank need more training. No, but my bad. Ryan need more training. But it was a good fight. I loved it. It was like one of the top fights of the year so far. The first thing I noticed immediately, immediately out of the gate, because I had a debate with someone about this, was Tank was faster than Ryan. And once I saw that Tank was faster than Ryan, I knew it was a wrap. And someone would tell me Ryan was fast. And I would be like, he's fast, but he generates a lot of his hand speed by pumping his legs in ways you don't do in an actual fight. So when you see people doing like all this, but they're pumping their legs, like, you know, like they're running in place and all that, you don't actually punch that way in an actual fight to generate power. Your legs have to be planted on the ground and you have to be throwing. So if you notice in our predictions, I, I brought it up, like, well, we'll see who's faster. If you think, you know, Ryan's faster, because a lot of people who would mention Ryan would talk about his hand speed. And to me, Ryan's hand speed was always an illusion generated by the fact that he got to pump his feet in ways he doesn't actually get to do in a fight. Like, I'll see people do that in a gym. Like, they'll be running and, and, and hitting the bag, and I'll be like, yo, everything you're doing, if it was an actual fight, you get laid out. Like, you can't, you can't punch that way. 
Like, it, you, you're supposed to be using your torso and not pumping your feet trying to make it look fast for speed. So a lot of what Ryan does is smoke and mirrors in terms of his hand speed. So when they got in the ring and he was throwing punches, and you can just see Tank watching. That's and Tank's true. like weaving these punches and countering. Like Tank's like, Tank's weaving them like this is pad work. And he's been and he's been in there with, with, with Ryan for years. And he knows how Ryan does the pads and, and everything. That's how Tank, like, watch it again. The way Tank is weaving Ryan's hooks, it's like he sees it. I don't know if you, if you caught this. At one point in the fight, I saw I saw Tank say to Ryan, you're slow. <laughs> he says it to him directly. He says to Ryan, you're slow. And when he says it to Ryan, that's when I knew, like, yo, he sees everything Ryan's throwing. Like, this is a wrap. I knew it was over. He, like, you know how there's talking in the fights or whatever, like, he weaved like three of Ryan's punches and he looked directly at Ryan and he said, you're slow. And when he said that, I was like, bro, it's over. Crazy. And he Crazy. and he was countering Ryan perfectly. Beautiful punch placement, everything. He was faster than Ryan. So the first thing I want to point out is this should be a lesson to you that boxing speed and all that pad work, hand speed are two different things. Like, there are people who look good on the pads and they do all that stupid stuff trying to get speed. But again, I tell everyone, boxing speed is reaction. How long, how quickly can you see the target, hit the target while it's open? How quickly can you recognize the punch, get out of the way of the punch? That's boxing speed. All this extra stuff don't matter. A foot race don't matter, whatever. The real speed in boxing is reaction time. See the opening, hit the opening. See it coming. Get out the way. That's what speed is in boxing. All this mitt work don't mean nothing. Reaction time is the most important speed in boxing. And you saw that with Javante Tank Davis and with Ryan Garcia. And you saw Javante's speed was way better. His reaction time was way better than Ryan Garcia's. So that was one of the first things I noticed. The other thing I noticed was... Ryan in the second round started trying to take it to Javante Tank Davis. And a lot of people were getting excited. And in him being inexperienced, he decided that he was going to go for it in the second round. And he did. And he made a mistake and Tank dropped him in that second round. And what he ended up realizing was because he was so he felt confident. He felt comfortable. He felt like he had Tank. And then he, he ended up on the floor. And that was the moment he realized that he would never be in control of the fight. And when he got up, he looked like a crackhead who just had their first hit. That's what he looked like. His eyes was like. And he and here's what here's here's what he messed up to, Ryan. If you decided that that's the fight you were going to have, you were going to attack Tank. You were going to apply the pressure on Tank. You were going to throw combinations at Tank. When you got dropped, the only way you could pretend not to be hurt was to go right back to that same strategy. That's the only way you could send the message that, oh, this was a fluke, bro. I'm not really hurt. You just caught me off balance, right? <laughs> he didn't throw any more punches after that. Facts. He played it safe after See, that. That's how Tank knew you're hurt. You lost the fight right there. If you wanted to, once you decide to go that route, you needed to go that route. You needed to finish that round the way you started that round. So at least psychologically in Tank's mind, he can be like, dang, I hit him with a good shot. He wasn't hurt. He came back like, okay, this is going to be a fight. What Tank knew after he hit you, you fell down, you got up, and you refused to throw punches again, he disciplined you. You knew there was a price to pay for jumping in on him, so you never wanted to jump in on him again. He trained you. See, that's the that's you being immature, Ryan. And that's why I don't want to hear anything about, oh, Ryan and whatever. Because it happened in the first two rounds, bro. The first two rounds. And the first punch that did the damage to him was to his chin. Then to the body. Tank beat him everywhere. Tank beat him like a pinata. That's what he did. <laughs> Okay, 
And so everyone in the comment section, I didn't never hedge for this fight. I told everyone from day one that Tank was going to knock out Ryan because I saw the smoke and mirrors. The hand speed isn't what you thought it was. His chin isn't what you thought it was. Every Not that no one was hating on Ryan. Ryan is good enough to beat the mediocre fighters. Ryan's good enough to beat the aging champions. Well, you throw Ryan in there with a guy like Tank, yo, that's elite level athleticism. His reaction time's better. His hand speed's better. Yo, you saw you saw it on display. The only time Ryan won rounds was when Javante gave him false sense of confidence. And Ryan's so dumb, he actually threw too many punches in the first round. Every punch he threw in the first round, Tank's trying to time him. Mm -hmm. And Tank's thinking like, I'm waiting to see the fast punch. I'm waiting to see the fast punch. And once Tank realized this is as fast as he is, Tank realized that when he attacked him in, in the second round. Once once Tank saw, like, yo, this is really his level, it was over for him. So my reaction to the fight is, you, you said it, G. Tank's really starting to take away hit and not get hit. He's really starting to learn, like, discipline, in there because before a tank would go for the kill and be reckless and he's really starting to see if i land the perfect shot at the perfect time i'll get the same results without taking punishment he's starting to eliminate the amount of punishment he takes because he did kind of like you said he, there's no floyd floyd is going to be floyd but you saw the floyd philosophy in there mm -hmm. you saw the I'm going to make him make mistakes. I'm going to make him pay. And I'm not going to put myself in harm's way. And when Ryan jumped on, on Tank and was throwing his, throwing his combinations, Tank remained calmed under pressure until Ryan messed up and then bang, got him. It was a beautiful performance by Tank. So I want to say salute to Tank. I want to salute Ryan on taking a tough fight, testing himself, challenging himself, and you know, will this make him a better fighter? Only time will tell. He did take some punishment in there, but, you know, salute to both gentlemen. It was an entertaining fight. And we're going to talk more about Tank and Ryan in the latest segment. So please come back to the channel. Remember, please like, share, and subscribe. You can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.